Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a sales representative interview. So if you are applying to become a sales rep with any company or organization, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you be the standout candidate. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover during this tutorial. So number one, I'm going to give you a list of sales representative interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. These questions come up all the time during sales rep job interviews and you need to make sure you have confident answers prepared. Number two, I'm going to give you two very important tips for answering each of those sales rep questions correctly and I'm then going to give you a top scoring example scripted answer to each of the questions and then you can use them to help you pass your own job interview. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 21 sales representative interview questions and top scoring example answers. And just very quickly, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Literally thousands and thousands of you are passing your job interviews as a result of these tutorials and I can only help you if you are subscribed. By subscribing I can help you not just pass every job interview but also negotiate a high salary and progress throughout your career and please give the video a like. That really does motivate me to create more content for you. Thank you very much. So the first sales rep interview question I want you to prepare for is tell me about yourself. This is going to be the first question that you must answer. My advice is to make sure you create a positive first impression by demonstrating good manners and talking about the skills and qualities you have that make you a great sales representative. And tip number two, in your answer, say you are comfortable with difficult targets and you will work hard to build long term relationships with customers and clients to help increase sales. So let me now give you my top scoring example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. Here we go. Thank you for the opportunity to be interviewed for this sales rep position with your company today. My name is Richard and after finishing my education, I worked in several positions where I was required to interact with customers, provide exceptional service and collaborate with co-workers to achieve the company's goals. Now, I would describe myself as confident, loyal, hardworking, someone who thrives under pressure and the type of person who wants to continually learn and improve. Now, having read the job description, I'm confident I have what it takes to succeed as a sales representative. I am comfortable with difficult targets, have a thorough understanding of the sales process. And if you hire me, I will work hard to build long term relationships with clients and customers so they become long term advocates of your business. That's a brilliant example answer to that first sales representative interview question, tell me about yourself. It creates a really good positive first impression and it sets you up with confidence for the rest of your interview. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and write down all of the answers as we progress through the questions or if you wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 21 sales rep interview questions and top scoring answers including the ones we are working through together today. Here's the next question for you. So why do you want to be a sales representative? Tip number one, this next interview question comes up often during sales representative job interviews. So be sure to prepare a confident answer. My advice is to talk about how your energy, drive and passion are aligned to a career in sales. And tip number two, reference the fact that you enjoy interacting and engaging with people in your answer because this will add more weight to your response. Because as you know, to be a successful and effective sales rep, you need to be really good with people. Here's my example answer. Why do you want to be a sales representative? I want to be a sales rep because being a driven, positive and enthusiastic person, it is the only role I will be truly satisfied in. I need the type of work where I must constantly evolve, have something difficult to work towards and where I am engaging with people daily. Now, being a competent and consistently effective sales rep is a difficult thing to achieve. However, I am confident I have what it takes to succeed because 
I have a track record of achievement in previous roles. I am very energetic. I will always seek ways to develop my sales skills and closing capabilities. And I will strive to be the best sales representative I can possibly be. That's another really strong answer that's going to put you ahead of the competition at your forthcoming interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have many more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can instantly download my full set of 21 sales rep interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. Here's the next question for you. What are the most important skills needed to work in sales? Now, this next common sales representative interview question is assessing your knowledge and understanding of the job description. Make sure you read it before your interview. Tip number two, the best piece of advice I can give you when answering this question is to explain why each skill is needed as a sales rep. Don't just list the skills in your answer. Explain why they are needed in the position because that demonstrates you have competence as a sales rep. Here's my example answer. What are the most important skills needed to work in sales? Here we go. There are several essential skills needed to work in sales. These include having in-depth knowledge of the products or services you are selling. You must answer questions in detail and overcome any concerns the customer or client may have. Explaining the benefits of your product or service and how these solve a customer's problem are crucial to successful selling. You need excellent communication and interpersonal skills, especially listening. Asking the right questions and then listening to the customer are vital. You need confidence, the ability to surpass tough sales targets, the willingness to accept constructive feedback and continually improve your sales techniques to adapt to the needs of your customers and clients. Finally, to work in sales, you need empathy, a genuine passion for helping others and a determination to succeed. That's another really good answer. Now, this one comes up all the time during sales interviews. Tell me about a time you failed. So this next question is likely going to come up during your sales representative job interview. It is being asked to assess your honesty, first of all, and how you respond to failure. Therefore, do not say you've never failed before because we all have. Tip number two, instead, give a situation where you did fail, perhaps early on in your sales career, for example, but explain how you use the experience to learn and improve. Here's a great example answer to assist you. Tell me about a time you failed. Here we go. When I first started working in sales, I pursued a prospect for several weeks, trying to convince them to buy. However, despite my best efforts, and doing all I could to reduce the price and meet their needs, they never proceeded with the sale. Looking back, the signs were there very early on that they were wasting my time and I should have moved on sooner. However, I did learn a lot from that experience and I now ask several qualifying questions at the start of every sales discussion or negotiation to assess the needs of the client, whether I am in a position to help them and their motivations for buying. That's a brilliant model answer, really good example. It shows that you did fail early on, you accepted it and you learned from the situation. The next question, what are you looking for in your next sales job? Now, when answering this next common sales representative interview question, demonstrate passion and drive. I also recommend stating you want tough sales targets to achieve because this drives you. And tip number two, you can also state you want a sales job where there is a progressive management team and positive people in the company to work alongside. So here's my example answer to assist you. What are you looking for in your next sales job? I am looking for a great product to sell, a company that sets the bar high in terms of sales expectations, positive people to work alongside, and a progressive senior management team. I researched your organization before applying for the role, and I'm confident I can be a great addition to your sales team. That's another really good answer. Now, this is a tough one. Talk me through your sales process. Tip one. So this is another tough but common sales rep interview question that needs a confident answer. Don't sit there and try to think off the top of your head the sales process you usually follow. Instead, give a set number of steps you follow. That's important. And explain each one briefly to showcase your selling ability. Here's a great model answer to help you. 
Talk me through your sales process. Here we go. I use a seven step process when selling. Step one is the prospecting and qualifying. I consider where my target audience are, how I can reach them and how I will determine whether they have a need for the product or service I am selling. Step two is preparation. So here I will consider how I will present the product or service, including consideration of the questions my prospect might have. Now at this stage, I need to ensure I have in-depth knowledge of the product or service I am selling. Step three is the approach. This will preferably be face to face, but it can be via telephone or email. And during stage three, I will ask the customer questions to determine their needs. Stage four is the pitch where I present the product or service and detail the benefits it will have to the customer. Stage five is the objections part of the sales process where I work hard to overcome them. So for example, if the customer or client says the product is too expensive for them right now, I could offer a payment plan to help spread the cost. Stage six is where I close the sale. And stage seven is the follow up where I check the customer is satisfied. Now, stage seven is really important because it will enable me to build long term relationships with my customers and clients. It's a great example answer. And you can see that by giving a set number of steps, in this case, seven stages, it shows that you have a really in-depth knowledge of the sales process you follow. Here's the next sales rep interview question. What are your short and long term career goals? Now, one of your short term career goals should be to get hired with their company. That makes sense. And become an effective sales representative. Tip number two, your long term career goal could be to gain advancement to a more senior level. Here's my example answer to assist you. What are your short and long term career goals? My short term career goals are to get hired with your company and establish myself as a high performing member of your sales team. My long term career goals include continual development. So my sales techniques are aligned with my customers needs and also growing my professional network. I also want to build a large portfolio of repeat customers to help reduce advertising costs for your company and eventually gain advancement to a more senior sales position within your organization. It's a great answer because it shows that everything you want to do, both short and long term, is centered on their organization. That's how I would pitch that answer. So the next thing to do is to click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can instantly download my full set of 21 sales representative interview questions and top scoring answers, including the seven questions and answers we work through together today. Make sure you go through to that website because you can check out all the other questions I recommend you prepare for. I've put some more tips on that page. And as I say, you can instantly download all of the answers. They're ready made. You can use them to prepare for your own sales rep interview. It's a fantastic guide and you can have it in your inbox literally within two minutes from now. It comes as an easy to use PDF guide. The next thing to do also is to make sure you subscribe to the channel. As I said at the start, literally thousands of you are passing your job interviews. I can only help you if you are subscribed. Please give the video a like because by liking the video, it generally tells me that you like these tutorials and the model answers and it motivates me to create more content. Oh, and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It is always an honor and a pleasure to connect with like minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. And I wish you genuinely all the best for passing your sales representative interview. Have a brilliant day.